Hi everyone, how are you? Yvette here. I want to share a project with you guys that I've been working on. And um, not only that, I also have exciting news. So stay tuned to the um, end part of this video for the exciting news. So um, a week ago or so, I introduced you guys to some index card um altered index cards that I've been working on and uh, I told you guys that I would be having a series which is this is part two of that series so on a monthly basis I'll come on and show you guys um, different and neat ways that you guys can use either your scrap pieces of paper like for instance this is Nina cardstock um, and I believe this is a hundred and forty um, pound weight which is um, pretty thick and sturdy or you can use just regular old um, index cards no problem on that I just happen to have a lot of this card stock so I decided to start this um, series and show you guys how you can put together cute index cards and then afterwards at the end I will be putting it in into a wooden altered wooden box that I have and um, yeah, so I decided to make one, one or two per month, depending on my time, and um, share with you guys. And um, yeah, you can definitely journal in the back of them, um, stick a picture in the back of them, uh, whatever you'd like to do. And then you have kind of like a cute index card calendar per se for your year. So with that, let me show you what I've made for the month of November. And I will have a link below for you guys with the um, one I made for October and the October one was kind of like a random themed one so I wanted to make my um, cards for November a themed one so let me go ahead and close up the camera for you and show you what I've come up with so I came up with four cards I believe October was five cards so it'll be totally random every month and this one is um, give thanks my little theme that I have going here and uh, I happen to have a bunch of my Lindy Stamp Gam sprays uh, here on my desk and then I had some leftover leaves from a project and I went ahead and I took a Sizzix die that I have with my pumpkins and that's what I did here so I'm going to give you a close-up of what I've done so as you can see I've taken my sprays and I sprayed the background and you guys know that I am totally enthusiastic of awesome backgrounds and that's what I came up with I think this is an awesome background it's simple subdued but it works so what I did is I took some of my Lindy Stamp Gang sprays and I'll have a list of what I've used over at my blog and I sprayed the back with um, two different colors two different color blues as you can see and then here I tried to make coffee stains with Lindy Stamp Gang uh, again um, those were moon shadow mist that I use and I'll have a list of what I used and I also sprayed down these were all regular just white cardstock for the uh, for the leaves and I've sprayed those down and I use my favorite charcoal pencils around that and I've also used some Tim Holtz rub-ons and some stamping in the background and uh, let's see so there's memento ink there's uh, what else did I use there is days on thing so I'll have a full list for you guys this is how this card turned out and the back is just blank a couple of stains on there but that's okay it just gives it more character and as you can see I did that and all four of my cards have that those circles that are supposed to be quote unquote coffee stains on there or coffee cup stains. Here's my next one again. There we go. You can see how beautiful that turned out and the shimmer, the sheen on there. And that's one of my rub-ons on there. So I just took um, a sheet of rub-ons that was on my desk from another project and I just randomly put it on there. They, it's, it doesn't really mean anything. It's just numbers and like here it says five cents and some numbers and so as you can see and again that sheen and I have a small clip of me putting this together at, I'll have that at the end for you guys not the full thing but just random pieces here and there of me putting it together super simple to make I'm thinking I'm gonna frame this one I have a cute little frame that I can put it in and I think I'm going to put it on my counter on Thanksgiving Day. I think it's going to look cute to my kitchen. 
And this one just says thanks. There's partial pieces of a clock here that I got from the rub-ons and the pumpkins here and a leaf right here. And I used my, what did I use? I, I used my Scotch Quick Dry Adhesive for this. You can actually use hot glue or pop dots or whatever you have at hand. Like I said, it's just random things that you may have on your desk, like Christmas is coming along. You may have a bunch of Christmas um, little things left over from cards and different projects and just throw them on these um, cute little index cards and you can, uh, like I said, I'm going to be framing this, but once I take it off my frame, I'm going to put them in a box along with my other um, pieces that I've been working on. So on to the exciting news. So those of you that have been following me for a while know that I've been holding use streams and I had to stop for a while because in my area my internet service was just terrible and since then they've fixed it and revamped it so I can get back to doing my journey into backgrounds over on Ustream. But not only that, a lot of people have been asking me to do classes. So I've decided to put together a workshop for you guys and that will be coming soon. I'm working on the workshop right now. That's that's a mouthful. But I'm working on this beautiful workshop for you guys and it will be called A Journey Into Backgrounds. So those of you that have been personally contacting me wanting to get information on A Journey Into Backgrounds, that will be coming soon. If you're interested, please let me know. Leave me a message down below. That will be coming soon. I'm thinking sometime in January. So um, right now we're at the latter part of November. So uh, yeah, that will be coming soon to you guys. And I am so, so excited. There's a lot of new things, a lot of, a lot of techniques and I am sure you will in totally enjoy it. So I want to thank you so much for stopping by. Stay tuned for a quick review on how I put these together. And I hope to see you um, during the workshop. And I will see you soon in my uh, regular videos that I put up. Take care. Have a wonderful Thanksgiving. And be safe. Bye.